My name is Aditi. I have my best friend who is extremely close to me since she has now moved in with me and my family. For your information, she is seven years older than me. She grew up in a small town, and a lot of murders and gruesome incidents occurred there. One of the scary incidents that she told me still causes me to send shivers down my spine. So this happened to her when she was 11 years old. There was a young, kind, and extremely beautiful woman in her town who was happily married to her husband. They lived in conjugal harmony, but there was something, a dark secret, that she was hiding. The woman, who we'll refer to as Veronica, had a child, and that baby was not her husband's. She couldn't let her husband know about this, as this baby was a result of one of her old affairs. She was eight years old then, and has been living at one of her friend's houses. Veronica used to visit her friend's house to meet her child secretly every night after her husband fell into sleep. However, when her husband had returned home late from work one day, then he realized that his wife wasn't home. Worried, he started looking for Veronica desperately. He had continued searching everywhere in town until he decided to check at her friend's house. When he finally arrived at her house, he noticed Veronica talking and laughing with a child. Wondering who the girl was, he stood behind a tree and started to eavesdrop on their conversation. And when he heard every conversation between them, then he ended up realizing that his wife cheated on him, got pregnant, and even gave birth, who was not his baby. This pissed him off enough, so he eventually created the most horrifying plan. One night, he put sleeping pills in her coffee, which caused her to sleep for 12 hours. Eventually, Veronica could not meet her child that evening, and he snuck into her friend's house to kidnap the child. After kidnapping her, then he took her to a dense forest. She was crying. Then he smiled the creepiest way and said, You are going to meet your mommy. She continued crying and tried to escape, but she couldn't get out as she was buried from head to toe in soil. She was never seen after that. A week later, her body was found in the ground, and this made Veronica deeply shocked. And it turned out that her husband had actually dug a hole and threw her in. He soon arrested by police and was finally sentenced for his crime. However, Veronica couldn't get out of the grief for her lost child and ended up falling sick in bed for a long time. It has been nine years since this happened, but he still remains in jail. <laughs>